Well, hello there, NFL fans. It is your host here, Team Rai Scratch It. Rai Rai, and my partner in crime is Michael, and we will give our picks for week 17, but before that, we will give a recap for week 16. Take it away, Michael. Week 16, I was 10 and 6, bringing my total to 146 correct and 93 wrong. Games I got wrong, I had the Rams and 49ers wrong, Miami and Cincinnati, Oakland and the Chargers, Dallas and Philadelphia, Arizona and Seattle, and Minnesota and Green Bay. Who did you get wrong? Okay, you do? I was 9-7 and seven last week. Overall record, 140 wins and 99 losses. The games I got wrong, Atlanta game, Colts game, Miami game, the Jets game, Oakland game, Arizona game, and of course, Green Bay. Well, if I don't blow it, I should win a regular season championship if I don't go too off bad off the off this week, it looks like, because I got 146 and 93. What was yours again? 140 and 99 losses. So I'm six games ahead of you, so it's going to be still pretty close, though, going into yeah, the last Yeah, pretty week. much, yeah. Like last year, yep. Yep, and then we got our playoff picks, too, so. There's still a chance. Yep. Well, for a wild card weekend, yep. yep. Wild card weekend. Okay. Um, so kick it off for these games for Sunday. Go okay. ahead. Okay. All Sunday games. No Thursday, no Saturday, no Monday night games. This is all just Sunday. So we'll start off with the New York Giants with a record of six and nine going to Buffalo with a record of ten and five. Buffalo has already clinched the playoff spot. Who are you picking in this I'm one? I'm going. I'm going Buffalo at home, but anything can happen in Week 17. The Jets ain't got nothing to lose. The Buffalo Bill ain't either. So I think but I'm still picking Buffalo to win this game. Next yeah. game, we got the one and 14 Cincinnati Bengals going to, or no, it's in Cincinnati, playing the Cleveland Cavaliers with a record of six and nine. Who are you picking in this one? Did you see a basketball team? The name? Did I say Cavaliers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got my fantasy bas- basketball up behind the thing. My bad. So I was checking it before, too. So, yeah. The Cleveland Browns are going to at Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> I'm going with the 1 and 4 t- 14 team just for an upset pick. I know that both teams are bad this year, but whatever. So I'm going with the, uh, the Bengals. I'm picking the Bengals as well because the Bengals usually beat the Browns at least once a year. So I'm going to pick Cle- I'm gonna pick Cincinnati as well on this one. We got the Green Bay Packers with a record of 12 and 3 going to at Detroit with a record of 3 and 11. Who are you picking in this one? Green Bay. Yep. On the road. Uh, same here because I think Green Bay's still fighting for a bye, so I'm going to pick Green Bay. You got the Los Angeles Chargers with a record of 5 and 10 going to the Kansas City Chiefs who have a record of 11 and 4. Kansas City's still playing for a bye, so who are you picking in this one? I'm going to Kansas City. I'm picking Kansas City as well. We got your Chicago Bears with a record of seven and eight going to at Minnesota, who has a record of ten and five. Who are you picking in this one? I'm going with Minnesota. Sorry, you know Bears last week seven and eight. Look, like they didn't give a crap, Michael. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pick Minnesota as well. Even though I kind of think the Bears might win and get to eight and eight, but I still think Minnesota will win. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'd be surprised if the Bears win on Sunday, but Minnesota got everything wrapped up. They can't. They can't move up anymore. They can't get home field advantage. Yep. So maybe they can, can if the other teams lose. You know, but I'm yep. going with Minnesota. But hopefully, it's gonna be a better game than last Sunday night. You know. Yep. We got the four and eleven Miami Dolphins going to the New England Patriots with a record of ten and, or twelve and three. Patriots have everything to lose because if they win, they get a bye. So who are you picking in this one? The Patriots, the defending Super Bowl champions. I don't want to, but. Miami is not a very good team, and we're not going to see another miracle weapon last year, so it's not going to happen. If it was at Miami, I would probably actually really consider Miami, but it being at New England, i got to pick the Patriots. Uh, we got This should be a close game. The Atlanta Falcons with a record of 6-9 and nine going to at Tampa, who has a record of 7-8. and eight. Who are you picking in this one? I'm going to Atlanta. Atlanta, you know, up, they're up and down team this year. In the last few games, they won. Go figure. So I'm going to Atlanta on a road for upset pick. Uh, I'm picking Atlanta as well on this one. Uh, we got the New Orleans Saints with a record of 12-3 and three going to at 
Carolina Panthers with a record of 5-10. and 10. Who are you picking in this one? Well, I'm going with Carolina Panthers for an upset pick. I think um, Saints got everything wrapped up. They do, don't they? Uh, no, they actually got a win to get a bye, I think, because they still got okay. the Seahawks, 49ers, and, you know, all them. So I think they need a win to get the bye. Okay, I might switch my pick out of them all. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Saints in this one. Just, I might just switch it. Just go to um, New Orleans. New Orleans, well, okay. Uh, yep. we got the Washington Redskins with a record of 3-12, and 12, going to the Cowboys with a record of 7-8. and eight. Who you I'm going with Dallas one? at home. I'm picking Dallas as well, and go ahead and clinch that number two pick for the Washington Redskins. Um, we got the Oakland Raiders with a record of 7-8. and eight. Going to at Denver with a record of six and nine, which I think Oakland still has a chance at playoffs, but I think they need Tennessee Titans to lose, they need the Pittsburgh Steelers to lose, and the Colts to lose, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I think it's something like that. It's something wild like that, or Colts not to win by more than three or something. I don't know. It's kind of wild. But who are you picking in this one? I'm going with um, an upset pick, Oakland Raiders. I'm going to go Oakland as well cause to give them a chance at the playoffs. So. Um, Arizona with a record of five and nine going to the at at Los Angeles Rams with a record of eight and seven. Who are you picking in this one? Um, I'm going with the Rams on the road. No playoffs team for them. Disappointing team this year, but hopefully next year they can bounce back. But I'm going with the Rams at home. I'm picking the Rams as well. I don't know how bad Kyler Murray was hurt last week. I know he left the game and Bryce Petty finished, so I'm gonna pick the Rams though. Uh, we got the Philadelphia Eagles with the chance to win the division with a record of 8-7 and seven going to the at 4-11 and 11 Giants. Who are you picking in this one? I'm going Philly. I say Philly wins and wins the division. I th- wait a minute, I thought they won the division last uh, week. No, that gave them the chance to win it. All they had to do was win next week because they was a game oh, back, okay. so this gave them a chance. Now, if they win, they're in. If they lose, they ha- if the Cow- Cowboys lose to the Redskins, mm-hmm. Philadelphia still makes it, but if Philadelphia wins, they're in no matter what. So I'm gonna pick oh, okay. Philadelphia as well. Uh, you got the Indianapolis Colts with a record of seven and eight going to at the five and ten Jacksonville Jaguars. Who are you picking in this one? I'm going with Jacksonville. Both teams are bad. I'm going with Jacksonville at home for an upset pick. I'm gonna go the Colts get that eight and eight wins this year. I'm gonna pick the Colts. You got the Pittsburgh Steelers, who still have a chance at playoffs with a record of eight and seven, going to at Baltimore Ravens, who were not starting nobody. So, who are you picking in this one? Um, I might go with the Steelers for an I call an upset pick because um, Baltimore is better than the Steelers this season. So I'm going an upset pick Steelers. I'm gonna pick Pittsburgh as well, just because Baltimore's gonna be resting a lot of players. Um, you got the Tennessee Titans with a record of eight and seven. Which I think if they win, I think they get in no matter what. So you get them with the eight and seven record going to at Houston with a record of ten and five. Who are you picking in this one? Who won last time between these two matchups? Uh, that I don't know actually. I'm not totally sure. Shoot, I wish I had that up. My bad. Here, let me look real quick. I think did they play last week or the week fifteen they played? Uh, I think they played. A f- I can't really remember. Let me look and see. Hold on. Okay. It was, uh, let's see here. I'll tell you. Yeah, what. week 15. Who won? Let me look and see. It oh. The Houston te- one. Houston, Houston one. one. So 20, I'm going with, 20, yeah, Houston one. 24 to 21. 21, yeah. yep. Um, so who are you picking in this one, Tennessee or Houston? Last time I picked uh, Tennessee, and they failed on me, so... Um, I'm going with Houston. I'm going to pick the Tennessee. No, I'm, I'm going to go Houston as well. No, Tennessee. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go say Tennessee. Um, then that brings us to Sunday Night Football, which I think may be a potentially the, the division's on the line, I think, in this game. The 40, yes. 49ers with a record of 12-3 and three going to at Seattle with a record of 11-4. and four. Now this could be a preview for the sorry. This could be a preview of the division round or NFC title game down the road. You never know. Yep. Who are you picking? In I'm this going one? with Seattle. Seattle's tough at home, and they got um, um beast mode. He's back. Yep. I'm gonna pick the 49ers mainly because the Seattle 
is such a run-based team, and without you know, with a Marshawn Lynch just coming in and a Robert Turbin, I don't know if the run game will be quite what it was. So I'm gonna pick 49ers. Okay, so I'm going with Seattle at home. Okay, I'm gonna go 49ers. Well, so uh, those are our picks for Week 17 and our recap for Week 16. Good luck with your picks. Uh, enjoy the games, and of course, we will be back for Wild Card Weekend next week. Later, everyone, and go Bears, of course. See you all, and everybody have a happy New Year's, okay? Yeah, happy New week. Year also. Forgot about that. All right, see you all next week.